Hang on, hello, let's play fans, it's your pal Berg787, back with a brand new episode of Darkest Dungeon. So, um, missed an episode yesterday, I wasn't feeling particularly great and there was an awful lot of golf on, so I was kind of vegged out in front of the TV watching that. So I apologise for there being no episode yesterday, but you know, these things happen sometimes, I wasn't feeling at my best and thought best not to push it. You never know, might not end up feeling the best for two days, but no, I feel, feel good today, so back up and running. Um... We uh, don't. Uh, we've got a, quite a few people getting stuff sorted out and stuff like that. A bunch of our top level guys. I could go on a harder dungeon, but I'm going to go on. I'm going to buff up more people who are lower level. So we're going to go on this long trip to the Warrens, and we're going to be taking our new man at arms, Braithwaite. We're going to be taking Stanley, but Stanley's actually going to go there. There's a reason for that. I'll explain in a second. Ormond's going to come along, as is uh, Granty. Now, reason why he's going here, Ormond is going here, is because I've given her, or him, I always think it's a girl, but anyway, Ormond sounds like a bit of a boy's name. But uh, yeah, she's got the Raffle Bandana, which gives her plus 20% damage when she's in rank 4, and plus 20% debuff skill chance, but I don't really care about that. She does receive less healing, and uh, her heal skills are negated a bit, which actually kind of means I should probably... Well, then again, if she heals herself, that would kind of negate that, so maybe I do want to keep that. Yeah, alright, we'll keep that. And so, yeah, so basically she's getting more damage here, less healing, but 20% more damage from rank 4, plus we're combining that with the sniper ring, so 15% accuracy, well, plus 15 accuracy in rank 4 as well, so hopefully we won't get shuffled a lot, but there you go. Uh, that means the occultist is going to be in rank 3, which is actually pretty good, because look, he's got a big fat thingy in rank 3. Uh, hold on, I'm going to move it, get rid of that, put that there, cool. And, yeah... So yeah, he's getting the occultist written. I've given them to these before, so his debuff skill chance is up, and he's a bit quicker. So there we go. Uh, off in rank two here is Grenty. Grenty has got the speed clock. Now, things have changed. I, I, the reason why he's not using what I normally do with a bounty hunter is you can see here, for example, the wounding helmet actually lowers his speed now. It didn't before. It was just plus 15 damage, plus um, minus 20 melee skill. So I thought, okay, no big deal. I can still combine that with what I used to do, let's say, for example, with the focus ring. But you can see the focus ring's changed as well. Minus 5 damage now for the focus ring. I'm not a big fan of that. Not only did they debuff the uh, amount of crit that it did, but it lowered its damage as well. So, not great. And also the legendary bracer. Look at that! Minus 3 speed now as well. I mean, I didn't mind combining these two before, but now I'm going to be losing 3 speed and 5 damage? 5% 5 damage? It's like, well, I'm not even sure if I want these anymore. I mean, I'll find some way to combine them, but a lot of things have changed since the last update. I haven't noticed all of them, but on the ones that I regularly use, that was one that certainly sort of stuck out. So I've had to s switch up a little bit in terms of the uh, trinkets that I'm equipping people. And uh, finally, anyway, off to Man at Arms. Man at Arms, yeah, because that's kind of something I would have... Oh, not that, that's not what I'm looking for. That's something I would have given to the Man at Arms, you know, the Focus and uh, Legendary Bracer, but... I've got to forget that for now, because obviously I need to work out what I'm going to combine those with, if I'm going to use them at all. So the Man at Arms has been given the Damage Stone, so he does more damage, obviously. Uh, plus 10% more damage. Loses 4 dodge, and I've combined in that by giving him the Shimmering Cloak, so he's got plus 4 dodge overall. He is losing 10 health points, 10% uh, 10, 10 of his hit points, but considering he's dodge 9, which is pretty good, he should be getting hit less, so the fact that he's got 10% hit points less shouldn't hurt him too much, and he is doing 10% more damage, which should be very nice indeed. Anyway, enough yapping, let's head out. So it is a long dungeon. So let's make sure we take enough food. It is the Warren, so I do envisage that we'll see some corpses, but then again, I've been wrong about that in the past, haven't I? Uh, oh, don't want two, uh, two lots of those. Take a bunch of bandages, we'll take a bunch of medicinal herbs. Uh, remove that. I don't really want to take holy water, I only really use it when I go to the ruins. I mean, you, there are stuff. there is stuff to use on here, but I just can't be bothered in this regard. And uh, my phone, I forgot to charge my phone, so my batteries are dead, which means I won't have my little uh, compendium by my side to know exactly what does what. But hopefully I'll remember as we pass stuff on the map or on the um, in the Warrens that what, what exactly I should use on them. But given that it's taken me like three months to get to this stage and I still can't remember it, <laughs> don't, don't count on it. So 100% of room battles, what's going to be the best way to do this? Well, it's kind of annoying that we've got these two here and we won't actually pass them. I, I think I'll go this way and then we'll cut back around here. Hopefully we'll get a scout and find out if there is a, a fight in that room. Because that would uh, obviously help us, otherwise we will have to take a little chunk down to have a look. And that's not great that we've been surprised. 
not particularly happy with that straight away. But at least they missed with their vomit. That's good. And it is us first to attack. All right. Which one attacked? Was it the back one? I think it was the back one. And we could kill him with a maximum hit. But I don't really feel great about that. We've got a better chance to kill one of these two. So let's try that. Didn't kill him, but the chance, statistically, was a better chance to do it. So that's why. And look at him. He's going to go. Ah, he does seven damage, you fucking Captain Pighook. Uh, right. You're not so great from there. Which annoys me. You do have this rampart move, which moves you forward one, though. So that's kind of worth it. Can't really doesn't really do an awful lot of damage. What else does it do? Could stun the target. All right, okay. Um, yeah, maybe I could stun him, or I could just kill this one outright. What are their stun chances? Oh, very low. Okay, well we can stun this guy, move forward. He isn't going to attack because he's not attacked yet, and he'll have less health, so he should be easier to kill. At least that's the rationale. Oh, we've got a crit out of it as well. Very nice. Cool. Lowered a bit of stress. A Devil's Jewel. Alright, you at the back, so you should be doing more damage and... Uh... Oh, you got the Bowler move. Okay, that's pretty good. Alright, yeah, we will do that. Because it will kill him. Well, providing it hits, obviously. It will kill him and do a bit of damage to this little bitch. As the fiend falls. And it knocked him back as well. Alright. Okay, yeah, go and vomit on him. Annoying fucking pig. Alright, you from the front. Uh, I mean, you should be moving your way back, but on the flip side, I can kill people. So let's kill you. There we go. Stab, stab. And that just leaves us these two little bitches left. Uh, you, is it really worth doing the bowler? I mean, you could kill him, actually. Yeah, so alright, we'll do the bowler attack again. And it did kill him. Super. And it done some damage to this guy. Now, he's going to be a bit of a bitch to hit. Look at that. We can't actually hit him unless we use this. Alright, well, we'll use that. We'll bleed him as well. What? He's only got 10% bleed resistance and he managed to resist it. What a bitch. Uh, Rampart, we can't hit him. Oh, this is a bit of bollocks. Can't hit... Oh, wow, I didn't realise Command actually did it to everyone. Plus 10 accuracy. That's pretty good. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Hold on one second. That can't hit the back guy. Alright, so we're not, not in the greatest shape to be able to hit this guy. Can you actually hit him if you're in the front? No. Oh, fuck. Are we... All right, well... we'll i tell you what we've got to do. We've got to smash that corpse first. Gets the corpse out of the way and brings him nearer so we can actually hit him. You bastard. Annoying me. Pig face. Uh... He doesn't really do a lot of damage anyway. Alright, we'll just put the hex on him. We've got two people who can use that. Well, actually, you can't because he's in the third row, so you won't actually be able to hit him with your move that does do that. But the sniper shot should be able to take care of him. Oof, 32. Very nice. And that's us done. Coolio. Remind yourself you jump back there and we're all good. Hopefully we won't get surprised again. Because obviously being surprised is kind of annoying. Well, that didn't really affect us too much there, to be fair. Ah, yeah, we'll take that. And into the next room. Now, the problem when you've got a bunch of lower level guys is that they haven't really got too many chances of scouting out. Because they probably... Oh, for fuck's sake, again. So they haven't got the scout out skill. But it's really handy to have, especially on this one when you want to complete 100% of room battles. Because I want to know what's in that room. Right, okay. Well, you have to move back. There we go. It's a bit of a waste, but you have to. You bastard. Don't bleed him. Yeah, good stuff. All right, at least he didn't get bled. Ah, and you missed as well. So that was... Uh, we did give him more dodge, so I'm glad that he finally missed. We... Probably could go with a heal here, actually, because he's down to only 11 hit points. So let's heal ourselves. Eight, there we go. Perfect. And he resisted the bleed. All right, now let's start smiting. Uh, could kill you. There we go. Good stuff. That's one down. Drums of Doom. Hate this move. It raises everyone's stress. But don't worry, I've got a plan for you, because Retribution's coming... No, it's not, because I don't have Retribution. Oh, for fuck's sake, did I not give him Retribution? That's rather annoying. All right, well, never mind. I guess it's not coming. You can't kill him. You can't kill him. All right, you can't kill anyone here. Or you could destroy this. I suppose there is a benefit to killing the corpse, isn't there? Fuck it. Just hit him. Oh, what a hit. Crit. Wasn't expecting the crit, but I'll, I'll take it. All right, come on, vomit. Fucking pick. Pick? Pig? I, I think I was trying to say prick and pig at the same time, and it... Kind of put me off. Take one of these. There you go. Didn't like that, did you? Uh, oh, I can't fucking hit that arsehole in the back. It's really annoying. All right, well, uh, try and kill him. Well done. Well done, Grenty. Doing the damage, now we... Now, in this case, 
I wish that still did accuracy damage instead of just the f buff to the actual 30% damage because he doesn't it's not as if he actually does a lot of damage to you it's that it's his stress that's annoying hmm well he's probably going to be killed on the next hit anyway nah alright well you can't even kill one of those alright well we might as well do that we'll do a bit more damage to him whatever he might well he's not going to miss is he but hmm I wish that was both buffed up their dodge. That would be pretty cool then. Alright, destroy one of these. Or not. It's not really a corpse. It's just like a mound of shit. Alright, sniper shot. There we go. Can't believe I didn't give him fucking Rampart or Retribution or whatever it's called. Annoying. Yeah, let's leave that alone. Only bad things happen when I use that. Uh, okay, you two swap around as well. Trundle. Look at all these skulls. He's been stacking that. It's quite. It's obviously quite nicely sorted out down here. Someone's obviously been paying attention, thinking, oh, "I want to leave all these skulls in the way. Let's stack them up somewhere." Oh, we did get a scout out. That's quite nice. Will you scout to down here? You won't because you're a bitch. All right. Well, we've got to do the hundred percent of room battle, so we've got to go to all of these. Fucking hell, it's a lot of room battles we've got to do. And we've got a fight coming up here. Okay. And we didn't get surprised for once, which is quite nice. Let's bump up the torch level. Uh, how do we want to play this? I think we will, um, might as well do a bit of damage to both, shall we? Good stuff. Ormond, certainly uh, having those two, uh, having the plus more, the the more damage, let me just go back to it. Yeah, having the plus 20 damage in rank and the more accuracy is really paying out dividends. Because that bowler attack doesn't really do that much normally, but the 20% is certainly making a difference at this level. So, pretty pleased about that. No one really worth healing at this stage, so let's lower your da- Ah, oh, I can't believe you missed him, Stanley. And now you're going to be spat on or vomited on for your troubles. A oh, what? Spotted Fever? That's not good. I wonder exactly what Spotted Fever does. Ah, at least he missed that then. Let me have a look. Mine is, ah, not the end of the world. There's worse, there's worse diseases you can get, trust me. Uh, let's just finish this prick off. There we go. And that just leaves us with him. So we've had to fight one of these in every fight so far. Bam. Not quite a killing blow, unfortunately. Five. Does any, doesn't this do kind of quite a bit of... No, alright. I, I thought that used to do a bit of damage. These really have been debuffed quite a bit. Can you stab him from here? You can. Alright, you could kill him. Really? You want to leave him with one bit of health, you bitch? That's really annoying. But thankfully, we get to attack him again. And we're finished. Bye! Alright, let's keep marching. Ooh, some holy water. Wonderful. Pile of bones. Feel like it's bandages. Could be a shovel. I can't remember. Let's leave it alone. If I can't remember, I can't remember. And another guy. Oh, it's fucking hell. Another one of these. Getting fed up of fighting them. Hmm. Let's pound you first. Have a bit of a beat, you swine chipper. And uh, we'll give you a bit of a bowler as well. There we go. Ah, good. Brought you nearer as well. Oh, cool. He's almost... He's not quite dead. Not sure how I want to play this. Could just stab him. Yeah, let's just stab him. There we go. Eat that! Good start. We managed to kill one of them. Here comes the vomit. Infuriating me. At least at lower levels it doesn't do an awful lot of damage, so it's not that bad. Hmm. You can't actually... Well, you could kill him, actually. Yeah, so why don't you just kill him? I was going to say, if you couldn't have killed anyone, I would have used the stun move, but since you could. I mean, you can't kill anyone. I mean, I'm, I'm not counting criticals. You can always kill someone pretty much if you get a critical, but, you know, you can't rely on that. All right, next up is you. Take a beat. Ah, uh, vomit. Stop vomiting! I suppose I could kill him. That would be the way to get him to stop vomiting. Let's try that. Good shot. Well done, alright, so it's just the drummer boy left, and we might be able to stab him to do... Oh, we need to do max damage, but we'll try it. No, you want to do minimum damage. That's kind of more your modus operandi, it seems. And... There we go. Smite, smite, smite. Hmm. Well, we should take that. We'll get rid of the crests, and we'll take the onyx. Uh, can't be bothered to open that, because more chances than not, it's going to be... Um, what do you call it? And we don't have to go down there good because we did get a scout out today. Yeah, it's going to be heirlooms and I don't need heirlooms, so forget that. Anyone in here? Well, there's not going to be anyone in a sack, is there? But you know what I mean. What's in there? Oh, maggots, hello. 
Maggity mags. You can't be stunned, can you? The bowler does stun. Oh no, it just knocks back. I kind of would rather just do... I can't quite kill one, that's a shame. I think I would rather... Well, that's not a guaranteed kill here either. Well, let's go for it. Well done. Good kill, Ormond. Uh, you, could you stab one to death? No. Why would you be able to stab one to death? Maybe, no, I don't want to heal. Everyone seems to be fairly okay in terms of heals. Let's uh, put a weakening curse on one of these bitches. You, have a bit of that. You can do a bit less damage. They can do a bit of damage, these maggots, and they can blight you and all that jazz. Which I'm not super happy about. Got a better chance to kill that one, haven't we? Because he's got one less health. Statistically, it's probably the right move to do. So let's go for it. Ah, you would have killed anyone with a crit, but again, we don't know that crit's coming, so... Bye-bye. Here we go, Grave Nibble. Bitch. And raise my stress as well. Is that what it always did? I swear they ever move where they can blight you. Maybe the higher level versions of these do. Right, can you kill... No, you can't kill either of these. That's a bit rubbish. And you can't really stun these either, which is quite annoying for you to have to fight them. So just hit... That's fine, because the bolo attack, when it gets to go from Ormond, will be able to kill one of them at least. If it hits again. And well, that's always a proviso. Uh, it was you again. Well, I could kill you, but I'd actually rather hit you, because as I said, I'm waiting for that bowler attack, which should kill both of them. And I don't think they're going to attack again before our arbalist attack, so I think that's the right move. There we go. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Now, as long as this hits, they're both dead. Cool. Great when a plan works out how you wanted it to. Uh, no. Let's keep on trundling. We know there's no one in here. We don't actually have a fight until the next room. Oh, and another little scout. Actually quite handy. Well, we we have to go... Oh, right. Well, that's the path we were going to take. Hopefully there's not... Hopefully we get to scout out what's in there, because I don't... I'll have to go and check it otherwise if we don't, because it'd be rather annoying if I went all the way around here, did all that, and then found out I had to come back to go to that room. Certainly annoying. All right, we'll take that. Oh, fucking hell, almost walked into that trap. Who's going to be the best to defuse it? Is that even the right word? It looks like it's going to be you, Grenty. Yep, all right, Grent. Good job. Good job. One for one today on that. Wonderful. And who are we going to be fighting? Let's use a bit of torture. Oh, this is actually a pretty tricky fight. But we surprised them. Ha, 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 ha. That's my laugh. Um, how do we want to take care of this? Seems like a bit of a waste using the bowler. Oh, well, it could do quite a bit of damage. Uh, now, let's just try and kill him first, because he's kind of annoying. We should be able to kill him, I would imagine, before they wake up. And go for a stab as well. Yeah, let's just go full-blown on him. I could have maybe put a curse on one of them, thinking that I will definitely kill him, but I think this is the better move. 12. Uh, you can, uh, That might have been the max, I didn't check, but we've almost got him killed. Here we go. All right, so big fat whip man's dead, and that just leaves his buddies. Oh, we get a never go, do we? That's kind of nice. Um, oh, could kill either of these. I kind of want you dead more. You're more well, actually, saying that I'm not going to get you to the front, so you're quite annoying as well. Let's just try and kill you. Better chance. Didn't work though, which is always disappointing. But hey ho, blanket fire. Ah! <laughs> Blanket, wank it. Uh, yeah, let's do that, because you're probably going to get to attack before we can kill you. So if we lower your damage... Because you can do a little bit of nasty damage for the level that you're at. Uh, maybe we can, No, we can't kill you without a crit. But you're definitely... Oh, no, you're not going to get to attack. I thought you would get to attack before we got to attack you, but never mind. Turns out you're not, and you're going to die for it. Cool, and we get another attack here. Uh, uh, let's do the Weakening Curse. Yeah, so even if you do get to attack and do hit, which you're not going to, but, you know, bye-bye. I was going to say, even if you did get to hit, he wouldn't do a lot of damage anyway. Cool, so they're dead. Oh, what's this? Arbalist Grove. That's pretty shit. Well, she's not... Considering I want her to stay in level in the fourth rank, that's not the end of the world, but, like, you know, I'm not going to... not going to wear that ever, I think. Uh, cash. Um, how are we going to do this? Well, you know what? Let's eat some of this food that we've got here. This two stack of food. There we go. You can eat that. That gives us another rank for that. And I don't really care about that. So let's go. I mean, I could have swapped it for that. It is money, technically. But who cares? All right. Upwards. Please give us a scout when we get to this room. Or when we beat up whoever's in there, rather. 
Uh, come on, Grenty, your second chance. Two for two, good job. I'm going to call you the Trap Disarmer. And in here. So once we beat these up, please give me a scout out. Oh, these guys again. Surprise them. Ah, I didn't surprise them this time. Uh, okay. I think I'm going to put a mark on you. I think it is worth it this time around. It still does a little bit of damage. Plus, you're going to get to attack him as Mark. So we might be able to kill him with just you two hitting. Good times. Oh, it didn't do any damage. All right, never mind. Well, it doesn't matter. He's going to collect the bounty here. Can't quite kill him, but almost. Oh, well, it can with a crit. Good times. That worked very well. Here we go. Blanket fire. Didn't miss this time, which is a shame, but hey-ho. Only did a little bit of damage. Uh, how do we want to play this? Yeah, let's try and stun you, actually, since we can't kill you outright. Bam, how'd you like that? Ah, you didn't like that at all, did you? You got stunned. You're like, where am I? What's going on? Uh, we shall curse you. Curses! Actually, I probably should have marked him, because then the sniper's the only one who can really hit him. Could have killed him. Bit of a poor move by me. Uh, could you kill him? You could kill him, and he worries me more than you do, to be honest. So let's try that. Well done, Ormond. Well done. Hmm. A little bit struggling to... Oh, we could bleed him, I suppose. Or maybe it would be better to mark him. Yeah, actually, it probably would be better to mark him. There we go. Take that. Because that means uh, Ormond's certainly going to kill him when he gets a chance. Could double mark him, shall I? No, I think that seems a little bit excessive. Let's put the curse on him as well. I don't think the double mark would stack anyway. Uh, you uh, I don't even know what to do with you. Give everyone more accuracy. Oh, that was pretty cool. There we go, everyone's plus 10 accuracy. And here comes blanket fire. That didn't really seem to do any mo any less damage, which I'm kind of annoyed about, but hey-o. Uh, uh, right, okay, bye-bye. Cool. It's kind of good having three people who can mark someone in a group, isn't it? <laughs> Certainly uh, helps. Oh, we're really getting a lot of these onyxes. That's pretty good. Stop that round. Uh, you go and open that. Cool. What's in here? And more gold. And more junk. Uh, are we going to get a scout? No, we're not. Alright, well, we've got to go ahead up to this room then to see what's in here. We'll probably use a camp here. Oh, there's a fight on the way. A bunch of maggots. Maggot! Alright, kill him. Mm, yeah, kill him. Or don't kill him. You know, just do the minimum damage. There's always that. You fine, sir. Stabby stab. Alright, let's kill him. There we go. Do the minimum damage, but the minimum was enough. Next. Uh, I don't know. Kill. Which one does more? That's 11. That's 7.5. Alright, so this does more chance of critical, so we'll go with that. There we go. There's the crit. Cool. Always good to check what has statistically the more chance, because, you know, even those little increases can be handy. I can't believe you can't kill this fucking maggot. It does have 60% protection, that would be why. And uh, we can't really stun it. You might as well do a bit of damage to it. Help us kill it next time. Here we go, Grave Nibble. Bitch Nibble, more like. And come on, have you go. Oh, you stunned him, you fucking little maggot. Don't stun her. Don't get stunned. Don't get stunned. Yes, good stuff. Because I need you. I need you to be firing at the back guy. There we go. Yeah, because you're the only one who can really hit it. So come on, kill it! Yeah, good stuff, Ormond. Ormond. And you finish this little bitch off. And we're good. What do we get from here? More junk? Yes, exactly, more junk. <laughs> Alright, more heirlooms, I suppose. Yep, exactly the same junk that we just threw away. There's going to be tons of busts just littering the path. I hope there is a fight in here, just to make it worth my while to have come down this way. And there is. Okay, good. So that was worth it. Okay. 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 Can you actually kill one of these? You could. Hmm. Hmm. Um. All right. Try it. Well done. Good. Good start. That's one dead. You. You. Uh, we're going to put a mark on you because you're going to annoy me, and I want to try and kill you as soon as possible. Well, you're not going to be out killed till Ormond attacks again, really, so... You bitch. Don't believe me. Yeah, there we go. You really need a heal, actually. All right, he's getting a little bit stressed out there. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't hit him with your uh, move, with the finish, with the collect bounty move. But never mind. I didn't realise that does plus 20 damage versus humans. I think that must be new, or unless I never noticed it before, but I'm pretty sure that must be new. So, cool. That certainly makes more sense to hit him. 
Still wasn't enough to kill him, which is a bit of a shame, but hey-ho. Here we go, Drums of Doom. Fucking one of the more annoying moves in the game, but what can you do? You want to finish him off? Yeah, finish him off. Oh, big boy hit there from Bra uh, Brad. Brad Wardine. Or Brad for short. Let's just call him Brad. You, alright, uh, come on, you need to finish this bitch off. There we go. So that's him dead. Oh shit, we're probably going to have to beat up some of these corpses because we're not going to be able to get to this. Really should have given someone a move that got rid of corpses, but I forgot to do that. Still not used to playing with this corpse game. Is it really worthwhile doing that? Yeah, actually, you know what? Let's let's throw. I'm gonna heat. I'm gonna use a camp fairly soon, so I'm not really worried about healing him. Pretty sure we're not gonna get killed by this one pig before we camp. Um, all right, destroy one of these. You could kill one. Well, you could get rid of this, and you did good because that moves him forward, and that just means it's gonna be much easier to kill him. Like so. All right, we didn't kill him, but you know what I mean. Oh, here we go. Vomit for vomit. Nah. Good. I, but his, they've really attacked him very little, considering I've given him that booster dodge, which is kind of annoying because, you know, I kind of wanted him to be attacked more because he's very dodgy at the moment. Actually makes him sound like a weirdo. No, he's not dodgy, but you know what I mean. He's got better dodge. Uh, a load of junk over in this cache. You open that. Ow, oh, it's trapped. But you resisted any kind of machinations from it. Alright, so we'll basically go here, here, and then heal. Or camp, if you will. Ah, oh, shit, we're going to have to come back a bit anyway. Hunger. Yeah, we'll eat that. Hold on one minute. How did... No, we've already done those. Right, okay. I was thinking, how did we pass that and not do it? But it obviously just didn't disappear. That was all. Thinking, yeah, we definitely went through there. Oh, wow. I just remember this is the first time we've had to use a shovel. For a long dungeon, that's quite surprising. And saying that, we scouted out everywhere else, so yeah, there is literally nowhere else we'll need those shovels. Very rare you only need one shovel for a, um, a long dungeon. Let's see if a shovel works on this. No, it doesn't. What else could work on Holy water? Yeah, it is holy water. All right, there we go. Oh, got some more food from it. I suppose we can eat some of it. Nom nom. I'll take that. All right, come on. Can you go free for free here, Grunty? Yes, you can. Good job. I'll forget about the fact that you didn't disarm the trap that was on that. That chest or whatever it was that you went through, but you know, you can't be perfect. But on actual traps, you've done well. Alright, here we go. Let's use some firewood. Uh, we'll eat as much food as we can. Alright, you need your stress lowered, so how are we going to do that? Not with that. All companions heal. That's not bad. One companion heals 35%. Kind of like that. Is there anyone who's got like a full blown stress remover for someone? Doesn't seem to be, which is a shame. Oh, shit, I didn't give you your extra thing as well. That's rather annoying. Hmm. Alright, this is how we're going to do it. You heal him. There we go, he's almost up to max. And then you heal him. There we go. So, self only, 10% extra. Wow, that's pretty good, actually. Yeah, use that on yourself. And then give that to him. And what does that leave us with? One. Oh, shit, does anyone have a one that we can use? Oh, there is. What does this do? Oh shit, yeah, I forgot to reduce his stress. Okay, that's kind of worth it, though. I know it does raise everyone's by 5, but it does lower his by 25, so we're getting a net gain of 10 less stress, I suppose. So we'll use that. There we go. That looks much better than having one guy up on four bars. And we will leave. Hopefully we don't get ambushed. Nah, good. Alright, pretty good camp for us. Let's head on. There is a trap, and uh, we're not going to touch those. So we don't need to. And we will... He's 4 for 4. Go on, Grant. The Trap Master. Good stuff. And let's see who we're fighting in here. Okay. I can live with that. You do more damage against humans, so we'll attack the humans. There we go. Perfect. Exactly what we needed, I believe. 12 to kill him, so good start. You, uh, let's hit the pig at the back, because he's the hardest to kill. You could kill him. Uh, let me just see one thing. Eagle Eye. Oh, wow. You're actually pretty good, Ormond, I have to say. I have to use you a bit more. All right. Well done. Two for two in the terms of the uh, one-hit kills. There we go. A bit of drums are do. Ah! I don't know how you can miss with sound, but I'll live with it. Ooh. I had to pay for it by getting a crit and a bleed. You fucking bitch. Mm -hmm. um, stab. Ooh, well done. A critical stab. No complain about that. Uh, you finish him off. Good times. He should go again, should he? No, I don't think he would. Alright, let's um, 
throw a bowler on him. I don't know. He can do some damage to him. There we go. Have that. He flips back a spot. Uh, yeah, you took your damage from the bleeding. We've got so many bandages, so you might as well use it. And now finish him off. Good times. So that was pretty easy. Uh, eat the food. There we go. We'll take that stuff whilst we've got for spare room. But what does this do? A bone altar. Yeah, that seems like something that would need uh, holy water for. So we'll leave that alone. And move on to the next room. Two more rooms to do. Uh, this needs holy water, doesn't it? No, right, we'll leave that alone. Should have brought some holy... Should have brought more holy water. I didn't bring any. That holy water that I got, I found in here. Uh, let's just use up some torches as well, because we've not really used any. And that does free up an extra slot for something to take. Oh, spiders, hello. Hello. Uh, 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 I would like to kill one of these. How much damage does that do? That does enough to actually kill both of them, in theory. All right, let's try it. And it did. Good stuff. Ormond, the beast at the back. You, uh, do you want to go stabby, stabby? You'd need to do max damage, but, you know, you might do it. You've got a 17% chance of doing a critical, which is pretty good. And there it is. Wonderful. And that leaves us just this one bitch at the back who no one can hit. Cool. All right, try and get rid of this corpse for us. There we go. Now we can hit him. You still haven't attacked, right? Yeah. All right, okay. You... Yeah, well, you will kill as long as you hit. There we go. Excellent. They didn't even get to attack us. Wonderful. Ah, we'll take the torch. We'll take the portrait. We can stack that. And put the cash there. Cool. And we're going to use some medicinal herbs on the makeshift dining table, I believe it is. Yep, kills all the diseased food. And gives us a bunch of food. No, I don't really know what we're going to do with since we've already got 12 there. But, hmm, all right, it's a bit rubbish, isn't it? Oh, we'll get rid of this one. We'll use that one torch. There we go. Does anyone need to eat anything? You could do with eating. There we go. And you can do with eating as well. Wonderful. Now we've got one more room to go. Two fights. Uh, we can use that. I mean, it's just going to give us more food, but who cares? Why not? Just to do it. Oh, no, it didn't. It gave him a buff. Oh, I shouldn't have done it with you, actually. 30% more damage for you. That's a bit of a waste. But never mind. doesn't matter. I'll get you to stab someone. Yeah, this is a bit of a nasty fight. Bolo? Bolo, my friend? No, I don't think a bolo is worth it here. I think a sniper shot's probably the better move. Uh, on you. Good, bye bye. That's one down. I don't know if we're going to be out of attack before they do. Oh, we do, okay. Not really loads. I think I would rather get one of you to do less damage just in case we um, don't. We're not going to be able to kill both of them, I don't think so. You do less damage, my friend. Yep, yeah, good. Now you, they're humans. You should, you've got a good chance to kill him. There we go. And even if we don't kill this guy, if the man at arms doesn't manage to finish him off or doesn't get to attack first, he at least uh, is going to do 30% less damage than what he would normally would have done. But we might kill him. And we did kill him. 10 is exactly what we needed. When was the last time someone tried to hit us? We've just been <laughs> one-hitting everyone so far. Well, not quite one-hitting, but you know what I mean. Excellent. And on to the last room. Pretty, pretty... Good, almost near perfect round. Ooh, quite a tricky fight. Well, I've been saying that quite a tricky fight, but we've uh, obviously not been having too many problems with these bitches. All right, take that. I'll set the mark on you early. And then you do that. Yeah, only 19, bit disappointing, but there you go. Shouldn't mind too much. Well, if I knew, when I know that's coming, then that's all all right. And that just leaves these two bitches blanket fire. Miss! Oh, wow, okay, did some crits. That's the opposite of missing, you arsehole. Uh, you still got your buff, haven't you? Alright, stabby stab. Well, you did the most you could do without a crit, so I'm not going to complain. And here comes a shank. Ooh. You going to move him back? No, it doesn't move him back. Alright, cool. Uh, stabby stab again. Good. Double stabs. Uh, okay, please be able to finish him off. Not with that, you know. Yeah, you can. I bet you don't, though. Oh, I can't believe I bet against you. You've been awesome, Ormond. Ormond's really kicked ass. Uh, for that, have a treat. Eat some food. Why don't you eat some food as well? So we've got so much food, we can actually clear some of it out. Means we can take something else. Good, chomp, chomp, chomp. Yeah, eat more if you can. Good. I'm not going to be able to get rid of all that. Uh, stack that there. Stack it. Oh, no, I can put that there. What am I doing? We're actually going to take some trinkets, it seems. Cool. Yes. Uh, no, we're going to stay here just so I can 
cure the dining table. You never know, there might be something else other than food. There we go, see, an extra 100 gold. Who doesn't like 100 gold? Uh, doesn't really matter now. All right, let's get out of here. Some experiments should have never happened. Man at arms, certainly beasting it. Not man at arms, sorry, arbalist. Beasting it. Uh, okay, nice, good. All right, this is the in more interesting part. Okay, so you've leveled up. All oh, right, you're up to level three now, are you? You won't be joining your lower level chums anymore. Well, not for a while anyway. Stanley, what'd you get? Weld adventurer, pretty good. Rabies. Ah, they've lowered that as well. Rabies used to be minus ten accuracy, plus twenty damage. Um. Normally, I don't mind rabies. I've actually kept rabies on quite a few people historically, but. I might actually end up getting rid of that for Stanley. Just because he's not someone who would necessarily have a trinket or something like that that increases your accuracy. And especially considering some of the top accuracy reducing trinkets now have been debuffed a bit by adding more negatives. I'm not sure. I will. I could give it. I'll have to have a look at that. I'll have to think about it off camera. But that's pretty good, the world adventure. Unholy Slayer. There's never a negative about that. That's pretty good. But Lafarge. Don't like that. How can that even be a disease? Oh, I suppose you could have some sort of sickness that lowers your will to do anything. And uh, Brad. Oh, what the fuck's here? You got... That's not the end of the world. I mean, we shouldn't be fighting too often below 25. World adventurer. Yeah, that's pretty good. And haemophilia. Certainly want to get rid of that. All right, well. A mixed bag. Now, while we've got you here, Stanley. Go away, yes. So Stanley, he's got spotted fever as well, so we want to definitely get rid of that. But rabies, for example. So if we bring this up, if I kept him with that, and then I gave him, let's say, um, this. So whilst his dodge would plummet, that is true, close that with rabies. So he would technically still have a plus 10 to damage. Is that correct? Yeah, I suppose it works out to a plus uh, 10, despite the minus 5 there. Uh, and a plus 2 to accuracy. But he's losing a lot of damage. Uh, a lot of, sorry, a lot of dodge, which I'm not particularly super happy about. Getting a lot extra crit, though. 3%. Hmm, could do. I mean, I'll have to think about it a bit more. But I certainly want to get rid of Spotted Fever. I mean, why not? And we can get rid of Bad Gambler while we're there, I suppose, as well. All right, head to the sanitarium. So old. Oh, no, you can, yeah, you can get... No, you can't do both here, actually, which is a bit of a shame. Alright, we'll get rid of that spotted fever first. Ormond, did, did we need to get we'll get rid of that? But I don't really want to get rid of... Oh no, we can lock one of these in place, can't we? I like all of these, but I suppose Eagle Eye is the one that counts everywhere, because it counts against anyone, the extra critical, whereas these are situational. Still good, but situational, so we certainly want to lock the Eagle Eye into place. And who else was here? Grenty, did you get... Oh, yeah, Lafarge. We want to get rid of that for you. And we'll pop you there. Remove the Lafarge. And uh, who else? There was someone else who came along with us, wasn't it? Who was it? Oh, yeah, Man at Arms. Did you get anything that I want to... Resolu I don't really care about resolution. We will get rid of that, though, because we then we'll combine it by sticking something in place. So we'll remove that. I don't really care about him not drinking. Now, what do I want out of these? These are all pretty good as well. Mm, I'd like to keep all of them. Don't know. I think... I feel like you get more unholy stuff in a variety of dungeons. Like, you can see, even if you're in the Warrens or the Wild, you still do get skeletons and stuff like that pop up. So, I feel like that counts better. There's more chance that will be used, put it that way. So, we'll... Lock that into place as well. I've got two, three slots over here. Is there anyone else who I want to kind of maybe do something with? Monfweek? Monfweek? I don't know. Better not do too much. I might not have no one to go on the next mission. <laughs> so we'll leave that at that. But I um, hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, one and all, folks, you dear viewers back home. And uh, join me next time when we'll go back into the dungeon and probably do something else weird and wacky. But until then, take care. Bye-bye.